Head northwest, climb 1,300 meters above sea level, and you'll find yourself in Kathmandu, capital city of Nepal, where some unusual groups live side by side. It's 5.30 in the morning. The sun isn't up yet. But despite the hour, the streets are already teeming in this melting pot of peoples. Although most aren't due at work for another hour, they have an important dawn appointment. At first light, the local temple is the focus of attention. Hinduism is the most widespread religion in Nepal, but this ancient temple is dedicated to the Hindu gods and to Buddha. Yes, this is no ordinary temple. It's Swayambhu, the monkey temple. One of the Hindu gods, Lord Hanuman, was a monkey himself. And so here, they're allowed to get away with all manner of mischief. The only reason so many monkeys can survive in the middle of a city of nearly a million people is that the worshippers bring them a hearty breakfast There are nearly 3,000 monkeys living on and around this sacred site, the remnant of a larger population of rhesus macaques that once inhabited the forests of the Kathmandu Valley. It's a tribute to the adaptability of the macaques and the city's citizens that the two groups managed to live together so harmoniously. While the macaques are protected in the grand surroundings of the temple, they aren't the only animals who benefit from the local beliefs. Cows, held sacred by Hindus, are free to roam the streets. And the people of Kathmandu accommodate their wild neighbors in more prosaic ways too. On rubbish tips across the world, you'll find scavenging birds. In Kathmandu, it's these beautiful and graceful black kites. By late afternoon, the city's inhabitants are making their way home, and the kites have taken to the trees. It's the end of another busy day for the gangs and groups of this city in the sky. And that's it.